Hey guys, it's Henry with Mowers and Blowers, part four of my uh, Craftsman LTV 10 Vara Drive lawn tractor mud mower conversion. As you know, this lawn tractor had a rusted out deck. I didn't want to throw it away, so I'm avoiding the curb, is what the title says. This drag link over here is the only way for me to steer. It was rusted away onto that joint, so I fabricated a joint and used some hose clamps to connect it. It seems to hold pretty well, and it turns pretty well, but right now I'm just uh, welding the two rods together so those hose clamps, uh, I won't have to depend on those hose clamps, you know. So as I weld these together, um, sometimes this drag link touches the uh, big mower deck crankshaft pulley. If the transmission and pulley system that I have swapped out works, I'm waiting for a 52 inch belt that goes from the rear transmission pulley to the center idling pulley. It's a double stack. The upper one goes straight to the drive shaft. That pulley there has an idler pulley that the brake controls, moves up and down to tighten the tension. This one over here is going to be routed all the way to the transmission pulley. So I'm thinking that'll work out. If not, I'll adapt. But uh, my next step is, once I have that connected and it works, I'm going to cut this pulley off because it gets in the way of the uh, drag link. The reason why I'm not cutting it right now is because I want to wait and see if that works. If that doesn't work, I might just take one long belt and take it all the way to the transmission, you know? And then have some kind of uh, idler pulley system connected there to uh, increase and decrease the tension. But I'm going to uh, button up these welds a little bit more. That looks pretty good. Not bad. Pretty cool. I'm starting to like welding, it's fun. Ugliest welds in the world. But it doesn't have to be pretty. I mean, it could be prettier, but um, I'll get there someday. I want to know how to make dimes. Drag link is welded. Looks okay. 
took that wheel off and put these tiny little John Deere wheels on. They hold air. I had to make a spacer between here and there because the width of this wheel is much less than that one. As soon as I get this flipped on the other side, or at least upright, I can change that one. In the meantime, I thought I'd give uh, trying to get that wheel off one last shot. So I decided I was going to get uh, two power washers and my uh, welder frame, put it back to back with the handles up against the rim, right? Take my uh, five pound sledgehammer and whack the center of it. I also used my propane torch and PB blaster and I shoved it into the uh, keyway hole heated that baby up for a while then whacked it a bunch of times didn't even budge not one millimeter that's on there for good it's never coming off so my only alternative is to try to fill that tire whether I use tire jacked or maybe another bottle of slime or something, but I gotta fill that tire. Otherwise, this mud mower is gonna have a flat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? It's uh, flurrying. Well, there it is, upright. I uh, put the tranny back on. I know that if when I get to my belt, I could just uh, crawl under there and slip it on. Uh, I took off some of the other brackets and stuff that got in the way of the drag link. I put these little John Deere four inch wheels on there because they both hold air and they don't rub against anything. I'll keep it on there for now. That tire still needs to be addressed. The belt, like I said. I'm going to find out if the uh, engine starts. I, I tried to start it, but it wouldn't budge because I think I left the uh, ignition key on, so I'm just charging it right now. See if it'll crank up later. It's uh, snow flurrying a little bit right now, so I've got that carburetor covered. And uh, in the meantime, i got to sweep out my garage. I've got like an inch worth of rust sitting here. Disgusting. These are all the extra parts that I uh, kept. A couple of uh, hangers. Probably sell these on eBay. Somebody could use them. I'm going to wait on the pulley system first. Because this is for the uh, mower deck idling tension idler. Another adjustable link here, which I could probably use for my uh, LT1000 the mower deck. Maybe. Looks a little too short, though. Boy, those look identical. I could use those. And these are great because you can just uh, slip it in there, put a washer and a couple of cotter pins on there, and that'll be good. That's kind of cool. This is for um, the guide for the uh, mower deck pulley. Got some uh, mower deck parts here. It's the uh, side mower deck discharge, side discharge deflector. This is like the sled kind of a thing, you know. Got the two original blades. They're 19 inch. They're in good shape. They're mulcher blades, so I might keep them. They're in good shape. Just have to sharpen them up is all. These are the uh, hanger arms. So I've got some good, you know, parts in here. I'm going to clean that up. I don't know. I need to get some big ass wheels, don't you think? You know, mutter wheels. I don't even know if this thing's going to run right, you know. But it's my first mud mower, and uh, I love the patina on here. You know, that natural, rusted lookout patina. Just need to be washed, and I'll put a gloss coat over it. Remember, I do have the hood for this. 
I'm not going to put it on until the very end. Hood is in good shape. Hood is in, uh, made out of fiberglass. And it's annoying because every time you touch it, my arm itches. Because you got those little prickly thing, uh, fibers that go into your skin. Drives me crazy. I've been working on this damn thing for a long time. Clean your shit. No problem. It started up in a chiefy. Gonna burn off all that Earl. But it started up no problem. I'm going to go inside and have some jerk chicken and some Jamaican beef patties. Going to add a little bit of Earl. The center pulley just fell out. I've got to put the e clip on there. Some gas got it got into the uh, crankcase. That's usually the symptoms of that. So I might have to drain the oil and give it another oil change. But I'm all done. Thanks for watching everybody. Follow me on Instagram at Mowers Blowers. See you guys next time.